Hi guys, I'm Grace. I'm Jasmine. And we are and the DIY, DIY Girls. We have two crafts for you guys. Two very easy crafts. Mm -hmm. um, hope you like them. Hope you enjoy them. Please hit that like, like button. Subscribe. subscribe. Hit that bell button so you're notified every time we post a new video. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, so here we're going to make a wreath and this is the first wreath I've made. I'm really excited. I think it turned out really cute. You can let me know what you think down in the comments. And again, you're going to pick whatever wreath size you like. The reason I chose this um, wreath, I guess, form or style is because it's easy to put in the greenery um, to do, I guess, all the loops and turns. So I chose two, ty two types of greenery, one that had a little bit of yellow and the other one had, a, I guess, like white. And all you're going to do is slip them in. Now I figured out, I guess halfway or at the end of the thing, that I can trim. For some reason I didn't think about trimming um, the stems of these greenery when I'm going to put them in if they seemed a little long. And then of course I was just doing one one style one the other one and then at the end um i filled in the gaps with whichever one if i needed a lot or a little but all i did was slip them in and some spots i did have to hot glue them but again it was just so easy and so quick um but yeah i, I ended up putting lemons on these if you um you can put whatever your style of decor is right now and after August, I'm gonna be taking out the lemons and putting sunflowers, but my wreath is done. That's what I, I truly loved about this. So again, here you see me slipping and just uh, pushing them in. Some of them are a little harder depending where it is on the wreath, but again, then you'll be fluffing them, putting them in. And that was it. it again, it was so easy. I, I couldn't believe how easy it was. Okay, so here I was already done. So I looked and I see, okay, where else can I add some more? I did leave some spots showing because again, if you look at a tree, you're going to see the branches or the trunk of it. So I didn't mind too much, but some of the spots were just missing way too much. And then again, I just fluff up all the leaves. Oh, there's a spot I need. So I added, again, some of the leaves had four. So the spots that needed a lot, I did add four. And the spots that needed a little bit, I add the greenery that had less. Again, uh, later on, I end up trimming some of them because they were way too long. So you could trim them as you're going. Um, but that's it. Like, again, it was so easy and so much fun. Um, but yeah. This um, wreath is really good for beginners, like if it's your first time doing it. Again, super easy because again, all you gotta do is just put them in. Okay, so now I just took out a bunch of lemons. Um, what I ended up doing in the back, I took out that spot and I made like a pre um, hole on the lemon. I did add a little bit of um, hot glue to it so that they wouldn't just fall off since they are a little heavy. Um, they're not heavy at, really at all, but compared to weight, and so it will be hanging down. And again, just pop them in, put a little bit of hot glue, and again, super easy. And I put around, again, you put as many as you want, as little, um, whatever decor you wanna add to it. But it was so much fun and so easy. Some of them, uh, what she was pointing out was that the hot glue will make the some of the styrofoam pop out which again not a big deal some spots again i hot glue because they were coming out but remember you can just cut them off instead of trying to put hot glue eventually i gave up on that um part and then at the end i ended up cutting it off but that's it or moving it and again you move it to where you want you add as many and again, I'm even thinking for Christmas, I'm going to add bells to it. 
It would be so cute. And again, just keep fluffing, add as many. This was so much fun and so easy. I don't know why I waited so long to make it. I think I was a little intimidated about making my first wreath, but I absolutely loved the way it turned out. Um, okay, here I end up using this ribbon because I didn't have any more, but this wasn't the color really I was going for. Um, in the reveal at the end, you will see that I end up switching um, the ribbon for the Hobby Lobby blue ribbon. If you saw that uh, video, you'll see there it's a big difference. It's much darker. And that's more or less what I was going for because even the trucks that I have bought a while back from Target, it's a dark blue. And for the summer, I wanted that yellow and blue theme. Um, but yeah, so here you're going to see me struggle a little bit with the bow. Just sometimes bows don't want to be in the form but again it's just tying your shoe I left it in because I had a comment that saying that working on it I'm still working on my bows sometimes bows will be your best friends and sometimes they will not be and you gotta push and pull and line them up just think about it when you're making your if you have daughters when you're making their bowls on the hair or you're trying to pick up the hair and they have all these little hairs that are coming out and you're trying to push them in and making that bowl or that the scrungy work or whatever it doesn't always just come out so just be patient with it enjoy the process again the more you do them the better you'll get at them and then eventually i got it so it all depends how picky you are how you want it to look and that's it at the end, I end up cutting those duck tails on the ribbon, which you kind of saw a little bit there at the end. Um, but that was it. Again, I'll switch the bow. You'll see it at the end. But that is it, guys. Look how beautiful and simple this wreath was. And I think it looks gorgeous. Okay, so here we're going to start with um, a little stand. When I had gone to Hobby Lobby, I couldn't find any of the Scrabble stands to um i guess to put the words in it um so i had to make my own um there's one two three four i think there's six of those those are the tower uh tumbling towers from dollar tree and all i did was stack them um and i put them together and um that was it this was so easy and quick at the beginning i ended up showing you the three different types of little wood sticks that you can get one was a coffee stir then it was a, a longer wooden stick and then the smaller one you use what you have and then again you cut them and that's it so those two that i end up putting together then i put those two more together and then i put the bottom pcc it will not be perfect those towers are not perfect at all so don't um like make yourself all crazy about them just do the best and i think this came out so cute and it was so simple um i didn't hot glue the letters to the little stand simply because i wanted to switch it out since this is going to go on my tear tray um I showed you two options for the Scrabble tiles. I've had both for a while. I've made um, teacher gifts with them. I actually love them. Um, I know you guys see the fresh lemon that will be in another video there. It's just the way crafts go. Sometimes you put one in with another one or it depends on the day. Sometimes you do them on different days, but yeah. So I was so excited to use my brand new tools for cutting stuff. It was awesome but I didn't end up cutting it and you'll see it perfect there. I guess I was too, it was too long. And again, it's all about trial and error, but that's it. Then I glued the thing so that the letters wouldn't fall off right in the front. And that's it for that part. I tried cutting the piece off. It wouldn't work, I guess, because there's a sides on it, but I was like, okay, that's fine. Whatever, let it go. That too is so awesome. I love it. Um, and then I decided to use the smaller ones. Again, you use what you have. I had both types. Um, I'll insert a picture of the teacher craft that I've done with them. So if you guys need it, another idea. Here's another option. You guys can actually paint 
the Scrabble stand if you'd like to match your decor. I just want to leave it natural. It kind of matches my wood floor. Um, but yeah, that's one option, like paint it yellow or paint it white or, you know, or you can just leave it natural or actually put that stain, the antique stain on it. And then again, I just glued the lemons, the word lemon on that little uh, coffee stir thing because I didn't want them each one of them falling off. So and then that was it for that part. And then I just cut off the little lemons off that paper and I glued it on the O and I was done. So again, you can use a sticker, you can use any little thing that you can actually cut off and glue and you're done. Again, another easy, fun project. Uh, both of these were easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys do, you know, you get to make it. But that's it. So thank you guys. Bye.